Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifke. Now, the House actually has the power to expel any of its own members, although it's only happened five times in American history. And three of them were during the Civil War alone, when sitting members uh, sided with the Confederacy and were expelled. Uh, as far as we could track, there hasn't even been an official single expulsion proposal since 2002, uh, when uh, former Ohio Democratic Representative James Traficant was expelled for various financial crimes, including racketeering and fraud. Until now, uh, because there is an official proposal to expel Alabama Republican Representative Mo Brooks. Uh, he was the only sitting member of Congress to speak at a January 6th rally headlined by Donald Trump, after which many attendees rioted, illegally overwhelming law enforcement and breaking into the U.S. Capitol building in an attempted insurrection during the Electoral College certification. In particular, uh, many people are focusing on these lines from Mo Brooks's speech, quote, our ancestors sacrificed their blood, their sweat, their tears, their fortunes, and sometimes their lives to give us, their descendants, an America that is the greatest nation in world history. So I have a question for you. Are you willing to do the same? Are you willing to do what it takes to fight for America? The fight begins today, unquote. So expulsion was introduced in the House by Georgia Democratic Representative Hank Johnson. Now, expulsion supporters argue that Representative Brooks's words recklessly and dangerously spurred on a violent attack upon America's center of government. Uh, but Representative Brooks himself counters that his speech's phrases, including uh, sacrifice your blood and you know, potentially giving your lives in a, in a violent clash, were metaphorical, uh, intended not as literal calls to violence. While well, expulsion will be a tough order, uh, the Constitution requires a two-thirds vote, and while Democrats do hold the House majority, they don't hold it by, by that margin. We'll see what happens.